Well, we are now going to write a program using recursion. Before writing the program, I'll tell you what's the question. You see, there's a list L with many elements, so on, okay? There's also zero somewhere. Assume there's a zero somewhere, okay? Now, there is this function check zero, which takes a list L and returns zero if the element zero is not present and returns one if it's present. It can be a little confusing because when zero is present, it returns one. When zero is not present, it returns zero. So this basically is true or false. So maybe it will be easy on your minds if I, if I were to use true or false. I'll say false if zero is not present, true if zero is present. In this case, it should return true simply because zero is present in the list. How do you write a program for this? Right, so let me try writing a program for this. How do you do? So what I do is I will say the pseudo code check zero will take a list L. Of course, you must put a def here, but it's pseudo code. I'll not put it. It doesn't matter. Pseudo code is plain English. It, it's, it, it need not necessarily be you cannot adhere, you needn't adhere to a programming language syntax here as you know we have discussed that in detail in computational thinking course all right so check zero of l what would i do i'll say if the first element is zero then i'll return true okay yes it's found okay uh, else else i cannot say zero is not present right else i will say check zero of l not from zero but one to the last element n minus one okay don't worry i'm not using python syntax here all right so this is just plain english all i do is if it is true if l of 0 equals 0 return true else I keep doing this all right and if I should also probably say if l is empty uh, right uh, if you have gone to the end of the list if the length is 0 then return false okay this is all sort of very <laughs> bookkeeping um, uh, details you probably will find it confusing but don't worry we'll write a piece of code to check what is what right so just keep in mind that all you're trying to do is if this pseudo code is very heavy on your mind all you're trying to do is check zero of a list l in simple english is check the first element and outsource the rest of the list just like your vessel problem right the reason why i didn't want to write a proper pseudo code here is i want to make this appear very similar to the vessels problem that i told you all right so all that recursion demands is ch check some one unit of do just one unit of work which you do here and then the rest of it gets reduced by one unit and that you once again repeat it v clean only one vessel and then uh, you know leave the rest of it to someone else to do it all right so that's all is the idea for instance uh, our typical factorial example just to just to revisit it which we did the uh, in a couple of weeks before factorial of a number 10 is simply 10 times the factorial of one less than 10 okay sum of the first n numbers is n plus sum of the first n minus 1 numbers right sum of the first 5 numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is simply 5 plus sum of 4 which is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 here right so this is recursion let's now go ahead and look at this uh, not so right I, I did not <laughs> I'm sorry pardon me I did not write it properly so let me write a small code for this and then show you how this can be coded in Python all right okay 
So actually, this is not the exact syntax. I, I just wanted to tell it in plain English here. This may not even be completely right, but when we are writing the code, we will fix it.